What's the biggest dinosaur? Is a question that I think everyone has asked at some point. Most have agreed that if a dinosaur were to get the biggest title, it would have to be a species of sauropod or titanosaur. So you may have heard some people say Argentinosaurus is the biggest because it was proven to be between 77 and 110 tons. Or others might say the Supersaurus, due to its colossal length of 137 feet. Or if you're a big dino nerd, you could say it was the Amphicillus, which clocked up to almost 200 feet long and 30 feet tall. So which one of these Mac daddies was it? Well, none of them. If you notice, they use different type of measurements to describe their size, and that right there is the problem. Confused? Well, let's say that I'm 5'7", and somebody I know is 6'1". The dude who's 6'1 would technically be bigger because he's taller. Okay, well, what if that guy who's 6'1 is also 145 pounds while I'm 178? By those standards, that would mean I'm bigger because I'm heavier. You see where I'm going with this? When comparing two objects, you have to think about all the attributes, not just one. So technically, none of these options are the biggest due to the fact that one measurement of one animal cancels out the other. Like, for instance, Amphicillus may be 200 feet long, but it was only 30 feet tall, when Argentinosaurus was 70 feet tall, meaning it could technically be considered bigger. So in a nutshell, it all depends on being specific, because there is no true biggest dinosaur. But now you know somebody asks.